Let's talk about Alberta foreign graduate startup visa. But before I move forward, please subscribe to our channel and enable notifications. Alberta is the third largest economy in Canada, right after Ontario and Quebec. However, unlike Ontario and Quebec, Alberta has shown no interest to accept immigrants who are entrepreneurs and business people. This recently changed by the introduction of Alberta foreign graduate startup visa. To qualify for this program, you meet certain minimum requirements, enter an expression of interest pool, and then go through the process of a work permit and eventually become a permanent resident of Canada. This is very detailed. I have the details under one very long article that I will post the link below this video. But let me briefly review the eligibility requirements and other issues that you need to know. If you want to apply under the foreign graduate startup visa, then you need to make sure that you meet the minimum requirements. The minimum requirements include that you need to have been graduated from a university outside Canada in the past two years and have received a degree that is at least a bachelor's degree and has been evaluated by a designated organization in Canada and you have the ECA report that shows the equivalency in Canada as well. You also need to be able to invest at least $50,000 if you are investing outside urban areas of Edmonton and Calgary, or if you are investing in Edmonton or Calgary CMA, then you need to invest at least $100,000. You need to start a business in Canada and you need to own at least 34% of that business if you are investing in urban areas and at least 51% if you are investing outside those urban centers. On top of that, you need to show that you have at least six months of business ownership or senior management experience. Alberta has identified some designated organizations. So you need to have a business plan and present that business plan to one of those designated organizations along with whatever documents they need and eventually receive a recommendation letter by one of those designated organizations. You also need to prepare a pitch slide and for that, you need to present them in such a way that the slides re revision will take about 10 minutes. And you also need to have settlement funds. The amount that you need for your settlement funds depends on where you are going to reside in Alberta and the number of family members you have. By the way, the minimum language requirements is CLB7 and you need to take an official test. There is a list of eligible and ineligible businesses in Alberta that you could use for this process. It's beyond this video, but you can check them out by contacting our company or visiting AINP website. The Alberta Startup Visa for foreign graduates also has a point system, which you could receive up to 200 points based on your education, your work experience, the investment that you want to do initially, and the investment that you will do eventually, the number of jobs that you create, and also the language requirements when you submit your expression of interest to Alberta, they will review all your documents and information 
and assign you certain number of points, which as I mentioned, the maximum is 200. And now you are competing with the rest of people who have entered that pool of expression of interest. Every now and again, they will pick some of those people. And if you are selected, now you need to submit a complete business package. And you also need to go through an audit by some designated organizations or qualified designated organizations. And then eventually, if they approve you, you will receive a work permit. You go to Alberta, you start your job and your business in Alberta. And if you fulfill all the requirements, you will receive a certificate of nomination and you be can become a permanent resident of Canada. This is a brief video. I have more details in my article. Please check it out in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Al Parsai. I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. I teach immigration consulting at Ashton College. I have 10 years of experience as an immigration consultant. Please check out my book, 88 Tips on Immigration to Canada. You can visit 88tips.ca for your purchasing options. Please subscribe to our channel, enable notifications, like this video, and share it with your friends. See you soon.